Hello and welcome to this Millennial Review where today we're taking a look at the Sani Logic Mini Electric Chainsaw. Now if I flip it over, yeah, well, it's in English here, but as you can see, this is a battery powered electric chainsaw with a six inch bar. Well, we're gonna pop this out of the package and take a look at what comes inside and what you get for about $100 of electric chainsaw. And then we'll go into the second part of this video using the Sani Logic chainsaw. Well, outside and I'll let you know exactly what I think. If you wanna skip ahead, go ahead and use the timestamps in the description below. With everything out, uh, looks like we've got a couple of things in this package. First off, we've got a new quarter inch uh, chain for the six inch bar. That's neat that it comes with a spare. It does also come with some gloves, an owner's manual here. What else? Anything else interesting in there? Oh, and a little brush to clean things up or pick something out. I assume that's for when you're setting it up. But we'll toss those aside. Always nice to have a set of gloves. Thank you, Sandy Logic, for having that stuck in here. And then you do get your warranty card, a one year claim free. Activate within 14 days. Got to get that done. Then we do have two batteries. These batteries are a 21 volt max, uh, two amp hour. Now, 21 volt max must be the fully charged amount, uh, unless this is using something different than 18650 cells because typically uh, a battery like this would be 20 volts max and 18 volts nominal. We'll test that out with a voltmeter a little later on after we get them fully charged up, but it is nice that they're bringing two PowerShare uh, branded on there. Then we do have our charger, which I'll tell you, I'm not the biggest fan of this type of charger. It does work okay, but this little guy with that plug is gonna plug into the back of the battery just like so. And that style is never quite all that fast to charge, but we'll test it out. I'll let you know how it does actually perform. And then of course, the Sani Logic Chainsaw. Hmm, this thing's pretty cool. And you do get this with a nice blow molded case, which is always great to store. Uh, that way, when you're done using the Sani Logic tool, you're going to be able to uh, store it up and keep it nice. Well, anyways, now that we've got the chainsaw in front of us, let's take a look at a few different things. First off, how does the battery go in? Well, we've got our two leads, our positive and negative lead, and that's going to slide into the bottom, just like so. Uh, and then you do have this button. It's a nice tight fit but this button on the front, and that's gonna allow the battery to come out. Past that, looks like we've got a fairly standard issue, plastic for the body. Does have some fiber in that plastic, so that's good. And yeah, the handguard's pretty sweet. One thing I'll, I'll mention is, as you can tell, when you push down on the button, it's not gonna operate but this uh, slider, well, that is gonna allow you to use this left-handed just like that, or right-handed, you can use it as well. Although the guard doesn't come around for your grip on the right side, quite like it does on the left side when you're using it right-handed. Now, underneath that, we do have this cover for the bar, Ooh, which is nice and snug, A little plastic cover to keep the bar out of harm's way from cutting you up when you're not using it. And it does have this little cover, which is gonna help most likely with some uh, debris as it flies off. Cause after all, you're gonna be holding this out in front of you, grabbing the power trigger and uh, letting it rip. Now this bar itself uh, is going to be an oil-free system. So it'll be interesting to see just how long it lasts, but. I suspect small bar, small power is going to work fine. And under this knob is going to be our adjustment mechanism for the bar. Uh, I'll tell you, I did take this out of the box and already mess with it. And this is a really cool system. So what we have for the system is 
the bar and mechanism itself is in here and the chain goes on obviously can kind of loosen up as we pull that bar back it rotates on the cog of the output shaft the output shaft is c-shaped so it does allow this uh, cog to slide on and off uh, of course held in with a c-clip and that mechanism is going to give a pretty reliable way as you can see how it attaches to the chain system assuming that chain is nice and durable that should last for a while but I was telling you that the mechanism to tighten this up is very neat. And I'll show you just how it works. Basically, there's a cam on uh, the cover. And as you tighten this blue lever, that's going to change where the cam is. And it's going to press on this notch to tighten the chain up. So we've got it nice and loose as it is now. Basically, to put this together... What we would end up doing is just sliding our cover on, taking this thumb screw, which is going to hold everything together and tighten it down. But before you get it too tight, you can have that into place and then watch as I rotate that cam mechanism forward. You'll see it start to get the chain tightened up. Got to make sure the chain is slid into the bar. Give me just a second. There we go. Now I've got it run in, so we can use that mechanism to tighten up. There you go. We get just the right amount of pull on, and then tighten down. And it holds everything in place. Oof, man, is that cool? That is a great system. Now, these batteries, unfortunately, do not have any power uh, indicators, so I don't know how well they're charged. This is straight out of the box. I haven't charged them yet. We will. I'll tell you how that experience goes when we take it outside, but let's click that battery into place, and let's see how this works. So I'm going to pull down. Huh. That seems very powerful we're gonna have to keep it safe and you can see that this is a brushed motor inside take a look you'll see the sparks from the brushes when i let it on and off should work pretty good so let's get this all charged up take it outside and uh, let's go cut some things now obviously a chainsaw is not designed for lumber cutting or anything that you're going to need a nice finish to it but i did have a rough cut i needed to do on this two by four so i figured it'd be a great chance to see whether or not it would be effective at all for this now when we get the chainsaw out ready to go it lines right up and pretty easy and lightweight to use and as you go down just let the weight of the chainsaw cut through You'll notice it bogged down for just a second there, and that's because I was pushing a bit too hard. You do really need it uh, to really draw itself through rather than try to push it through. The edge, naturally, bit cut up. Again, we're cutting with a chainsaw. Nothing to see here, but it went through pretty good. Going to a more real-world application, take a look at this as we go through a branch that... Uh, has come down in my yard cuts through no problem again just use the weight of the saw and uh, just let it cut through it's gonna eat yep through that just fine but now you'll watch as i get a little impatient and i push down too hard bogged right down then you just gotta release start over again and off we are down branches like no problem Ultimately, moving into the other side, I've got a branch that I've just leaned up against the tree. Even without holding it, really no problem to get through. This same logic chainsaw works awesome, and I'm going to leave you out with a little bit of slow-mo. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. With about 15 minutes, a good run time on each battery, and the ability to cut through just about anything I put it to. 
Uh, as long as you give a touch of patience and let it do the work that's required, this thing works awesome. So go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to browse the channel to check out other videos like this to see as well. And if you want one of these for yourself, I do have it linked down in the description below. It's an affiliate link, but it costs you nothing and it helps the channel out.